Tim Metzner here with car-camping.net. Hope you're having a great weekend. Um, I am so far. We're having a great kind of fall-like morning here in Cincinnati, um, which actually got me all geeked up. We, uh, my wife and I are going camping next weekend, so I'm super excited about that. As I was thinking about it, I thought it'd be a great time to actually review um, some gear. We haven't done any gear reviews here on car-camping.net yet, so I um, wanted to start that off. Um, and I'm going to start it off with this buck grip saw. A um, couple reasons I really love this saw. The first is that it's, it's very affordable. Uh, I think you can get it for around $25 now. Um, I did just hear uh, or did, did some quick research, found out it was discontinued. So that's definitely a bummer, but I did find a couple places where you can still get it. So I'll link you up to those places if you're interested in this particular saw. Um, again, it's the Buck Grip Saw. A um, few reasons I like it. Size, um, I already mentioned price. Um, super, super sharp. So I've had this about five years now, and I've used it a lot. Um, maintained a lot of really good camping fires, uh, campfires with it. So um, basically, you know, I think you can cut any wood that you'd really need to to maintain a pretty good, you know, just normal campfire. If you're going for a crazy big bonfire, you might need a bigger saw. Um, I have some pretty good <laughs> fires. I actually call them rip snorters. Uh, it's, it's a good, good, going, uh, good burning fire. So I've had some pretty good rip snorters used using this specific saw. Um, five years old, never sharpened it once. Um, can tell you it still glides through wood like butter. Um, love that the sheath is magnetized as you can see here. Basically that means when you store it, get it in the sheath there. It stays on there for safety. You can see the finger grip there. Again, a nice safety feature as you're kind of cruising through the wood. Uh, it's not going to slip off. Uh, your grip's not going to slip. Um, I did actually cut my other hand one time. I can show you how sharp it is. Um, when I actually had an accident, slipped off the wood, caught my thumb. Um, that made for an interesting camping trip, as you can imagine. Uh, those things just happen. <laughs> um, overall, though, love the saw. Again, it's compact, easy to store, easy to pack. Does the job really easily. It's about six inches long. The blade is about six inches long, so you know anything with around that size diameter, you can just cruise right through. Um, I'll link you up to it if you're interested in it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on saws in general. I've had a few folding saws as well. Um, I've not had great experiences with those myself. Uh, I believe they're probably better now than they were um, than the ones that I had. Um, however, just in general, I found they don't quite hold up as much as a saw like this where the blade is kind of meant to be fixed and not, uh, not contract. So um, if you have a good experience with a folding saw, I'd love to hear about it. I'm obviously going to have to replace this at some point. So. Um, love hearing your thoughts as well. Uh, Tim Metzner, car-camping.net, and the the saw again is the Buck Grip Saw. I'll provide a link for you. Um, hope you enjoy it. If you do get it, let me know what you think.